case briefs and so much more ls data's got what you're looking for in 1977 the Varjabidi and Vuri city of Madera case was heard by the Supreme Court of California, focusing on the principle that if a government entity creates a public nuisance, they may be held responsible for any damages caused, even if there is no physical damage to property. The case also dealt with the idea of inverse liability in certain situations. The dispute arose when the Varjabidian family, who owned an 80-acre vineyard in Madera County, experienced unpleasant odors coming from a neighboring sewage treatment plant owned by the city of Madera. Despite repeated complaints and assurances from city officials that the problem would be resolved, the odors persisted. As a result, the Varjabedians sued the city for negligence, causing a nuisance, maintaining a dangerous and defective condition, and for inverse condemnation. The trial jury awarded the family around $73,000 for the nuisance claim, but denied the inverse condemnation claim. Both parties appealed the decision. The court upheld the damages award for the nuisance claim but reversed the inverse condemnation decision. The judgment was amended dismissing the inverse condemnation claim and awarding judgment to the defendant. However, the court reversed part of the judgment, affirmed the remainder, and allowed the plaintiffs to recover costs on appeal. The trial court was also directed to give the Varjabedians the opportunity to demonstrate the burden on their farm under the Richards Principle. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law, elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class